thank you to Vandergraaff for sponsoring this month's edition of Road to Recovery. Visit their website for more information about the Vandergraaff drum motor designed specifically for heavy industry applications. Hello again, Kevin Yannick here at Pitt and Quarry. We're into October now, especially the fourth quarter, and, and we're coming down the home stretch as it pertains to the, the 2020 election. So there's a lot that we're keeping an eye on here at Pitt and Quarry, including a development on the 1st of October, which was an extension of the, the FAST Act funding through a continuing resolution that, that President Trump signed into law. So that's a, a great development for the agri industry. FAST Act obviously was going to expire on September 30th. So, so we've got some more confidence and certainty on, on funding going into, uh, into mid-December, roughly. Beyond that development and some of those other things I mentioned, I had the opportunity recently to, uh, toward the end of September, to get into the field and visit with a number of producers across the state of Utah. There's a lot of activity taking place in Salt Lake City and in the surrounding area at the moment, and that bodes really well for, for the state's agri producers. I had the chance to, to pop into a few different sites operated by Whitaker Construction, Bolander Resources, Pisgah Stone, Staker Parsons, and I spent a good amount of time with the good people at, at Goodfellow Corporation as well. By all accounts, 2020 has been a very good year for, for Utah producers, and Goodfellow continues to support these producers with, with uh, crushing, screening, and, and conveying equipment as needed. And, and equipment has been demanded in Utah, which, which bodes well for Goodfellow and is a good sign of what's happening with, with producers and their customers. Many of the producers that I visited with, uh, are actively pursuing growth for their business, and that's a great sign too, considering you know, the economic developments that 2020 brought about. Pisgah Stone, for example, this is a young company. It's got a growing operation on Mount Pisgah, which is in northern Utah. You can actually see Idaho on a clear day from the top of the, the mountain where this operation's at. You know, Pisgah Stone, they're looking to expand their operation, but from what their leadership shared, they're selling materials so fast that they're finding a hard time to, to kind of revamp and, and do the expansion that the operation you know, is, is ready to do. But with materials just going out the door at a pace that that uh, is above normal, you know that's a good problem to have. But that expansion is going to come for for that particular company. The same goes for Whitaker Whitaker Construction. Obviously, uh, you know good things there too. Whitaker has got a sizable history in heavy civil construction, but these guys who are led by Mike Whitaker, John Sather, and others, you know they're rapidly building up their agri division. And I heard quite a bit from John Sather how St. George and other areas in Utah are some of the fastest growing areas in the United States. St. George, from what John shared, is, is the fastest or one of the fastest cities in the, in the U.S. And you know, this kind of growth, bringing in new population, presents great opportunities for expansion and to establish some roots in, in newer growing areas for producers like Whitaker, Whitaker Construction. Another producer I, I spent some time with, Bolander Resources. It's yet another exciting Utah-based company with a couple of young leaders in, in Bridger and Boone Bolander. They have a couple of fixed plants in Utah where they're, they're operating, but their contract crushing business is, is really keeping them busy these days. And they're looking to expand that business into other parts of the, the U.S. as well, outside of Utah. Now, all three of these producers, you know, Pisgah, Whitaker, Bolander, they're supported by Goodfellow, the dealer that I mentioned, uh, whose branch is south of Salt Lake City. And for Goodfellow, business is good. Like I said, um, Goodfellow is seeing a lot of positive activity with its fleet of rental crushers, screeners, and conveying equipment. And Goodfellow, too, has seen tremendous growth in the Salt Lake City market. It, uh, it probably represents where they're, they're seeing the, the most growth, the most sales. And they're looking to replicate that in, in other markets where they, they reside, such as Arizona, Nevada, California. So, so good things are happening with Goodfellow and, and other things are, are going to come, good things for, uh, for Goodfellow and, and those other Western states. Now, it was great to, to visit the beautiful state of Utah. If you haven't been there, I'd suggest you get out, take a look at, at the mountains. You'll, you won't regret that. But it was, it was just as great seeing a number of Pitt and Quarry readers a lot of enthusiasm for 2020 for what these people are doing. Uh, it's it's been a good year, like I like I mentioned. The state's drawing plenty of people from from other parts of the of the United States who are identifying Utah as a go-to market, one that's growing, 
one that presents plenty of opportunities for, for agri producers to do business in and, and uh, congratulate them on, on their successes. And, and thanks for, for allowing me to come and visit the great state of Utah. Thank you to Vandergraaff for sponsoring this month's edition of Road to Recovery. Visit their website for more information about the Vandergraaff drum motor designed specifically for heavy industry applications.